uh, back on the 16th of September, an announcement was put out through uh, the marketing department advising all uh, employees, faculty, and staff that uh, the increase in graffiti is there. Uh, right now, it's actually pretty bad. You know, we are uh, we have been getting a, a lot of uh, a lot of tagging. We have cameras. You know, unfortunately, the uh, areas that are being graffiti are uh, mainly in the restrooms. They're facing a, a state jail felony, um, and uh, if we can enhance the offenses, it can even uh, go up, perhaps to a, tele uh, a felony of the third degree. This has been sent out to all police personnel, advising them of the markings and uh, where it's occurring. Uh, like I say, we don't have a uh, suspect yet, but all the police officers know about it. And, you know, they are on the lookout for whoever is doing the graffiti. The cost is high, uh, and uh, you know it also takes uh, time from the maintenance personnel, the janitorial personnel, to continually be removing the graffiti. Graffiti is a major problem around here. Uh, I'm just amazed that we have not been able to ca catch anyone. We have a limited amount of resources here in both men, material, and dollars. And any time I have to send my guys, I divert them from doing maintenance or other responsive work around here, it's, it's the cost in not getting something else done. I, I operate this with basically three maintenance personnel. That's a lot of area for these guys. And if I have to have them go back, send off a, a door stall and repaint it, the reality by the time we're all said and done, that costs them a good three hours during the day. I've heard the students, the, the student uh, government is going to provide us with some money so we can have a reward. So we're going to, hopefully that'll do something. For somebody to have actually markers is not unusual, you know, especially if uh, you're coming to school, you're, you're working on a, on a project. Uh, so basically what we're advising is that if you do know who it is, to, to let us know. You can report it anonymously. The students are out there all the time. They're, if they see who it, when it's happening, they mention something, it'll so eventually cut, shut down and quit. But we need people to take action. When they notice something, either call the police or call facilities, call someone to let them know what's happening. So maybe we can catch these people and put a stop to it. We don't want to get people into any kind of confrontation. The best thing to do is to get, get us a good description, maybe follow them, uh, if possible, from a distance and call uh, the uh, police department here at the community college at 831 2200 um, and then uh, we can respond quickly and uh, if we can make an arrest we will make an arrest.